Dear friends, welcome to this service of choral eve and song, one of the great glories of the Anglican Communion. This service is brought to you by the chaplaincy at the University of Glasgow. The service is sung by the chapel choir under the direction of Dr. Katie Lavinia Cooper, Director of Chapel Music, and our organist for our service is the university organist, Dr. Kevin Bowyer. The chaplaincy, of course, along with the university itself and the rest of us, is in lockdown. This evening's service, therefore, comprises a set of pre-recordings, some from the archives, some especially recorded for this service. The readings are those appointed for today, Tuesday of the third week of Easter, but the psalm and introit and anthem have been chosen in celebration of Eastertide, and indeed of our distanced, both in place and time, our distanced coming together in praise of God. These are strange times for all of us, times of worry, anxiety and fear, times in which we would expect to come together in worship, but must hold our physical separation and meet only remotely. No faith community takes lightly this injunction against gathering together in worship. In other times and places such injunctions have been calls to refusal, rebellion and even revolution. But these are different times, and the imperatives of health and safety are foremost in all our concerns. Yet, like the Israelites in the wilderness, longing for the promised land, and then the Israelites in their exile, longing to return from Damascus to Jerusalem, we long for the time of our regathering and for the suffering to be over. But these are not our only models. Throughout our longing we are sustained by the model of Jesus, the one who gave his life that, as St. John records, we might have life and have it abundantly. In his self-sacrifice, we have the model for us all through these days. So now let us still ourselves and remember that we are always and everywhere in the presence of the ever-loving and ever-merciful God. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his great mercy hath begotten us again unto a living hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Dearly beloved, I pray and beseech you to accompany me with a pure heart and humble voice unto the throne of the heavenly grace, saying after me, Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no health in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou them, O God, which confess their faults. Restore thou them that are penitent according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto us pardon and remission of all our sins, time for true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
lesson is from the book of Exodus, chapter 19, verses 1 to 14 and 16. At the third new moon after the Israelites had gone out of the land of Egypt, on that very day, they came into the wilderness of Sinai. They had journeyed from Rephidim, entered the wilderness of Sinai, and camped in the wilderness. Israel camped there in the front of the mountain. Then Moses went up to God. The Lord called to him from the mountain, saying, Thus you shall say to the house of Jacob, and tell the Israelites, You have seen what I did to the Egyptians, and how I bore you on eagles' wings and brought you to myself. Now, therefore, if you obey my voice and keep my covenant, you shall be my treasured possession out of all the peoples. Indeed, the whole earth is mine, but you shall be for me a priestly kingdom and a holy nation. These are the words that you shall speak to the Israelites. So Moses came, summoned the elders of the people, and set before them all these words that the Lord had commanded him. The people all answered as one, Everything that the Lord has spoken we will do. Moses reported the words of the people to the Lord. Then the Lord said to Moses, I am going to come to you in a dense cloud in order that the people may hear when I speak with you and so trust you ever after. When Moses had told the words of the people to the Lord, the Lord said to Moses, go to the people and consecrate them today and tomorrow. Have them wash their clothes and prepare for the third day because on the third day the Lord will come down upon Mount Sinai in the sight of all the people. You shall set limits for the people all around, saying, Be careful not to go up the mountain or to touch the edge of it. Any who touch the mountain shall be put to death. No hand shall touch them, but they shall be stoned or shot with arrows. Whether animal or human being, they shall not live. When the trumpet sounds a long blast, they may go up on the mountain. So Moses went down from the mountain to the people. He consecrated the people and they washed their clothes. On the morning of the third day, there was thunder and lightning, as well as a thick cloud on the mountain and a blast of a trumpet so loud that all the people who were in the camp trembled.
The second lesson is taken from the book of Colossians, chapter 1, verses 1 to 14. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Timothy our brother, to the saints and faithful brothers and sisters in Christ in Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father. In our prayers for you we always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for we have heard of your faith in Jesus Christ and of the love that you have for all the saints, because of the hope laid up for you in heaven. You have heard of this hope before in the word of the truth, the gospel that has come to you. Just as it is bearing fruit and growing in the whole world, so it has been bearing fruit among yourselves from the day you heard it and truly comprehended the grace of God. This you learned from Epaphras, our beloved fellow servant. He is a faithful minister of Christ on your behalf, and he has made known to us your love in the Spirit. For this reason, since the day we heard it, we have not ceased praying for you and asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of God's will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding, so that you may lead lives worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to him, as you bear fruit in every good work and as you grow in the knowledge of God. May you be made strong with all the strength that comes from his glorious power, and may you be prepared to endure everything with patience, while joyfully giving thanks to the Father who has enabled you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the light. He has rescued us from the power of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.
Kurdistan to be and to work for the first sacrifice of sin and also an example of God in life. Give us grace that we may always most thankfully receive that his inestimable benefit and also daily endeavor ourselves to follow the blessed steps of his most holy life. Through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, from whom our redemption didst give thine only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross, and by his glorious resurrection has delivered us from the power of the enemy. Grant us so to die daily unto sin, that we may evermore live with him who died and rose again for us, through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness. Through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord. And by thy great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. The choir sing the anthem. Lida anima mea, praise the Lord, O my soul. Let us pray. Loving God, bring comfort and strength to all who at this time are suffering from the COVID-19 infection. Or to all those who are fearful for loved ones or anxious for their futures and well-being. We give thanks with all those who have recovered from the illness and we grieve with all who mourn the loss of those whom they have loved. We pray for the repose of the souls of all who have recently died from illness of any kind, from accident or injury, from violence or natural disaster. We pray for all who are lonely and separated from friends and loved ones, for families under stress, for all who had lost their livelihoods. We pray for all engaged in medical care, for doctors and nurses and auxiliary staff, for care home workers, and for all involved in medical research. We pray especially for all those who put their own lives and well-being at risk at this time for the sake of those they care for. We pray for all at the University of Glasgow and for all students completing their assessments and sitting final exams 
and we pray for the church, that it may remain faithful and true to the good news of our salvation during this time of exile. A prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. We sing the hymn, The Day of Resurrection Earth, Tell It Out Abroad. of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore.